Okay, year 12, here is the uh, thermistor core practical. This is where we need to calibrate the thermistor, which means we want to find out exactly what value of resistance corresponds to each value of temperature, because uh, that's going to be absolutely crucial if we're going to use this thermistor to design a potential divider circuit that controls a thermostat. So, just to run you through the setup, uh, I've got a, a, basically the thermistor is going to be connected to uh, a multimeter which is going to be measuring resistance in, uh, in in kilos let me just run you through that bit first okay right this is the temperature probe we're going to be using the pasco wireless temperature probe okay that's going to be measuring the temperature uh, now we, as you can see on the right hand side of the screen we've got the temperature here to, to, to a resolution of 0.1 degrees Celsius. So I'm going to be using the Sparkview um, app, which is the Pasco app, uh, running on a laptop. Uh, let me just give you a different view of the setup here. Right, as you can see here, so there's the, the wireless temperature probe. Now you can just about see the the thermistor is there as well. Okay, so the thermistor is connected to the multimeter. Here's, here's another thermistor. Here's another uh, version of it. So it's it's, it's basically it's, it's like a it's it's a probe. It's it's designed for to, to be used with, with liquids. Um, the semiconductor slice is going to be in, in in the tip there, and then we've got the wires which we're going to connect to the multimeter. Okay, at the moment, this, this the, the thermistor that I have in is, is, is 4.89 kilos. So I've got it on quite, I've got, got the range quite high there. Okay, right now, let's get that back in. Now, what I'm, the way I'm going to check, vary the temperature, I'm going to put in, we're going to start with boiling water straight from the kettle. Uh, I'm going to let it cool because there's, there's, there's an issue with the thermistor, which, which I'll, I'll talk you through in a second. So let's just start the temperature readings and then let's get the boiling water in. Right, and then we'll lower them in. Like that. Right now, as you can see, the temperatures jumped up very quickly, but the resistance of the thermistor is dropping fairly slowly. Okay, can we see that? So the temperature's basically gone up. Uh, we're looking at the you know the temperature is is is, is 92.2 degrees Celsius, and it's dropping, as we can see, fairly slowly, but definitely starting to 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 drop. However, what's happening with with the with the with the with the resistance of the thermistor? Well, that's still dropping. Okay, what's the reason for that? Because this is an NTC thermistor, negative temperature coefficient, which means as the temperature drops, the resistance should be going up. Now the reason is, is because of the, the sensitivity of the thermistor. Okay, the thermistor is not going to respond instantly to a change in temperature. Because right, it's going to take quite a few, a fair amount of time for the heat to conduct through the glass and into the semiconductor. So we have to basically, we have to wait until the thermistor resistance is constant. Okay, we want to wait till it stopped dropping, and then we can be confident that the temperature of the thermistor. Is the same as the temperature of the water so it's still dropping 
Right, this could well be our starting point. Right, so we've got 88.2 degrees Celsius, I think it was then. Oh, still dropping, still wanting to drop. It's, this could be the last one. So is that going to drop to 0.56? It looks like it's just on the cusp. So that's probably 0.565 kilos is the resistance now. Right, there will be a point where it's the, the resistance will start to rise again because then the, the temperature of the thermist is going to be exactly the same as the surrounding water. Okay, um, basically it's just a waiting game now. Um, we're going to let the temperature of the water cool slowly and then we're going to measure the, the, the rise in the resistance of the thermistor. The reason we're doing it this way, we could have, I could be adding water, I could be adding cold water to, 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 to the boiling water, that's going to cool it down more quickly. However, we've got the, the you know the the, the response the the the, uh, the the very slow response from the thermistor that is going to cause problems there because don't forget this we're, we're we're calibrating here we're not just trying to find a trend but we actually want to calibrate the thermistor so looks like the resistance is now on the way up which is what we expect because the temperature is now on the way down 